following the October 7th attack by Hamas on Israel. Olivia Rheingold is here, a correspondent on the documentary. Olivia, thank you very much. Great work. I want to play with it for you just another clip there of some of the chants that we heard on college campuses. Take a listen. Glory to the murders! Israel came onto their land and colonized it. All right, so when you think about what's being said there, it's calling for the destruction of the state of Israel, it's right. glorifying those who murdered Jews, uh, the martyrs, if you will, in their, their name. It's saying that Israel has no right to exist and calling for the extermination of the millions who live there. Did right. you get the sense that the people that you were talking to who were saying those things and chanting those things from the river to the sea really understood what they were saying? It's pretty complicated. I would say they are well versed enough to, you know, spit out maybe a few sentences and but what at the same time what they are saying is very extreme and whether or not they are that informed about it it still is a very intense statement to make. As you mentioned, um, these are mostly people, by and large, who don't believe that Israel has a right to exist. 67% um, of people, 18 to 24, see Jews as oppressors, right? And in the new right. uh, hierarchy of victimhood, those who are oppressors and viewed that way must be evil. The, the oppressed, regardless of facts, uh, are free to do whatever they want because they are oppressed, whether, you know, sort of regardless of any facts or right of wrong. How do we get to that place? Well, that is kind of what this documentary is all about. Uh, we traced it back to the university systems and, and college campuses where this philosophy is prevailing and it infiltrates almost every discipline. Um, so definitely anything with a humanities bend. Uh, students are being taught that there are two main ways to think about things. Um, there are the oppressed and the oppressors, and everything seems to boil down to that. So we believe that it really traces back to these radical uh, academic theories that have trickled down into, this, into student bodies. Right. It's sort of the cultural Marxism theory, right? That that the that the oppressed must rise up, uh, irrespective of uh, whether they are actually oppressed. If they're viewed that way based on skin color or whatever, where where does this go from here? Did you guys figure out, um, for lack of a better term, how to put the genie back in the bottle? I think that whatever the next you know uh, fashionable cause is, this worldview will likely just be copy and pasted. It will likely be understood in the exact same way it is being currently. Um, and I wouldn't be surprised if you know it revolves around another colonization fixation. Olivia, fantastic work, great conversation. I encourage everybody to watch it at the Free Press. We'll talk soon. Thank you. Thanks for having Thank me. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact driven, unbiased coverage.